This is gonna be damn nuts. But what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic Beyblade Axe survival battle. So, yeah, I've yet to make the uh, teams and such, which that'll be coming soon. Team battles and such is gonna be a process, even with that. But uh, yeah, we got some recallers stepping up to join the crazy army. So there are forty-four bays here. Yeah, it's it's insane. But we've got uh, bay stepping up. And that being the White Whale Wave. So it's Whale Wave 380G B. A uh, Whale Wave having some big time weight with it, but major balance. It's not overpowered, I'd say. You know, having like major, major attack with it, the way that it's shaped and such, being a balance type uh, blade, but still being prone because you see how this thing's shaped. It makes it worse vulnerable on the other side uh, with the bursting, you know, because just how it's designed and such. So definitely having balance with it, but being strong as hell. But it's going to step up and face 44 bays. This is going to be intense. we got to see how this thing does. Got a few of these battles uh, to go down. And then after I get through this batch, I'm definitely going to, you know, do uh, the team battles and split them up. But definitely leave a like. It's much appreciated because these battles take a damn while. And I expect this to be like an hour long. But let's get into it, man. Leo. But yeah, I'm going to sit comfy because I know I'm going to be here for... A little while, but this is gonna be intense, man. Just picking random base. Ah, oh, starting with Hell Scythe. All right, uh, 480 LF. Uh, uh, ooh, that hit. Going to four of these battles. Yeah. Let's see the overall strength of the base. And yo, Mail Waves hits. Final attacks. And, all right, it takes that one. 1 0. Uh, uh, surviving it, man. This white whale wave definitely is the GB for the counter attacks. That's what it will specialize in. That's what it's got to do is try to use it for the counter attacks, but that time wasn't able to. 1-1. One, one. And ooh, that hit. Alright, well, yeah, whale wave with an extreme finish with that. I'm giving that to whale wave. That was intense. Alright, ooh, Shinobi Shadow's up next. Uh, 370 GP. Oh, got deflected. I'll, I'll give that to Whale Wave. Now, people say that the bays that are played are necessarily bad. I say you can't count them out because they're lightweight. Yo, showing right there, deflected it. All right, so that's uh, two to two. But having that white weight makes it where they circle around me. Makes it a white base a chance, and uh, I'm not gonna count that one. Okay. And, ooh, that hit. Okay, now that's a major hit right there. Look at that, man. That should no be shadow. Maybe the people say is like really, really terrible. It's all about the testing and what parts work because it just it took that over the railway. So, and it just, yeah, they got the win against whale wave. So, yeah, being the underdog, that's what I mean. A lighter bay having the speed and such, but uh, yeah, night shield 460 LF. Whoa, that KO. Wow. Whale Wave not playing. Even that attack and stuff on the defense. And, uh, come on. And that's an extreme finish right there. Alright, well. Uh, three to two. Yeah. What the hell was that? Okay. Um, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it, getting the dub, that's for sure. All right, well, Night Shield getting that dub right there. That was impressive. All right, well, Purple Night Shield up now. Uh, 580. Oh, 
all these heads, man. Dry it off balance and takes out whale wave with that head. mean better. Just having more weight, it takes more of a startup for it. You gotta hard launch it, but of course, like, you get that power and such with it. I'm like, still having that weight, but... Yeah, Night Shield. Playing this too. Alright, Whale Wayne getting that one. So... SPX, uh, Hell Sight. 380F. Second KOs. That was insane. Alright, well, it's 2 1. Alright. So, uh, we Yeah, oh man, that hit. Alright, we're going to Uh oh, coming down to the stamina now. Look at the whale wave. We hit the three to three. And oh my god, wow. This is how they kept the balance of it by making it prone on the underside. But uh, wizard arrow for 80B. Finish right there. All right. Here we go. Try and use the momentum of the GP, man. I get the Ooh, and it did. But it gets thrown off balance right there. That's why I think this thing specializes, especially for attack. Being a balance type, but like, it shows the attack power. Probably the best setup for it. And bam! All right. Well, that goes to, uh, yeah, Wizard Arrow. Now it's Shark Edge 560G. And oh, dude, wow. That's, yeah, that's a KO. This thing is insane with the last second KOs. That's what's going on. Shut it down. Oh, that hit. He's gonna get it. 
Man, nah, that one went to Shark Edge. All right, yeah. Ooh, okay, that, I gotta count that. That hit right there, though. Made it leapfrog. That was, that's an insane force. All right. Well, uh, Wizard Arrow, 480, GB, a battle of the GB. Wizard Arrow. Show them the facility. Uh-oh. Coming down with the stamina, dude. And sheesh. All right, what? 3 0? Oh. We always gotta play back. Oh, it does right there. All right. burst wow that was impressive all right three three yeah Impressive win for Whale Wave. Now, uh, I was going to say Shark Edge, but Wyvern Gale, 360T up in here. Whale Wave. I'm telling you, that wave shake, man. Heavyweight attack. And all right. Wyvern Gale, take it on. Though. Wheel wave. Make it in a stamina battle. Damn, the, the late game hits. I can't even work. Yeah, that that goes to Wyvern Gale. It's impressive. Oh, it's Black Shell. Black Shell uh nine eighty orb. Yeah. Or nine eighty ball, I mean, yeah. Both these bays having some attack for sure. Like just how jagged the blades are. Oh, that burst right there. All right, too well. Wow. Trying to get this start up. But not quite. Oh, damn. What a hit right there by Black Shell. Yeah, talk about some big time blows. And it goes to Whale Wave. All right. Three out. Oh, dude. All the hits. Oh, Black Shell surviving them, though. It did hang on. And it does take it. All right. And, damn, dude. 
We just tied it up just like that. And it takes it. Black Shell fighting back and getting the win. That was impressive. Shinobi Shadow's up next. Uh, 960 Ella. Got to use the stage momentum. Which it tried to, but oh, man. All right. Whale Wave. The defense power. The heavier the bigger, the better is the fight, I'd say. But also, comfort is to start. Shadow. Yeah, it's got to use that momentum on its side with all the speed, but it wasn't quite able to that time. Uh, yeah, Hell's Chains up now. 980. Oh. All right. Chain responding with its own big time hit. And an extreme finish right there. Alright. As long as that don't hit the tripod. But damn. Hell's chain. Alright. Uh Wizard Arrow 960. Or not 960. 460. Needle. Yeah. And oh, I got a it deflected it. It was a baby hit, but it did so. That was one game. Come on. Let's see if Aaron's clear battle of that. And oh, okay. 2 2. Down with the sand, okay. Wow. Oh, oh, we got it again. What? We're well, all right. Damn. And oh, that's an extreme finish right there. So, all right, next up, Viper Tail 460F. Picking randomly from the pile, man. I'm going to show you at some point, you already know. Jeez, these hits, man. And yo, Viper Tail taking that one. Absolutely absurd. All right. Well, Viper Tail, take him out. This shows it's useful for attack. I mean, Spider Man. Spider Man basically. But it's 3 0 right now. Yo, all right, that goes to Whale Wave. And, nah, man, Viper Tail using that speed and momentum. That's why I think, like, Whale Wave with a, a full-fledged attack combo would be an absolute unit. But, uh, yeah. All right, next up, uh, Wizard Arrow 480B, red version. Basically, stock combo, you know. And the momentum to its advantage. It works the most effectively if, like, it gets hit and the gear it makes it where, yeah, it circles around like that. Or, like, you know, hits it towards the gear ridge and it's around. It didn't quite circle around like that. We're getting the hits on the gear ridge. 
it shows the balance with it having a big time attack. Like it being up there weight wise compared to a lot of the blades, but they got their balance. Really. Nice to see the balance for sure, man. Uh oh. Went for it again, but Wizard Arrow being a unit, man, it's strong. Yo, gets that one. Alright. Bop. Oh, yo, nah, it didn't hit it. It went out by itself. And that hit right there by Whale Wave. Alright, now you're talking. Okay. Bomb. Oh, damn it. I messed up with my launcher. It fell off the launcher. Right. Boom. And. Boom. And really? Nope. Let's try this. One more time. Three, three. So. though and it does take it with the stand overall big time hit well done but not enough to take it out all right next up oh man all right phoenix wing 580 hexa <laughs> finish happened before the burst so i'm gonna give that to whale wave by a bit that was close it was like suddenly like boom boom but uh yeah viper tail uh 380 high needle is up now and that no that was Tyranno B 360S. You only got one recall for Tyranno B. I hope like they do another set, like you know, um, a random booster and such. Definitely want to see another Tyranno B. Currently, it's one of the lowest remade like players for sure. Like, same thing for uh, Hell's Hammer and Dragon Buster. If they put Dragon Buster, Hell's Hammer, and Tyranno B in like a booster. Or like a set or something. I think we're going to talk about it. That's one of the time I'm going to be. Bro, my wife fell asleep. Yeah, I already fell asleep. <laughs> Alright. Damn, what a hit. Let's see, it goes right there. 
And Tyranno beat taking it. Well, we're always trying to use that momentum. Not quite able to get a start up on the ridge. And ooh, that's a yeah, that's a draw. That's an extreme finish right there. All right. Tyranno beat with the win. We got, uh, next up, it's the Kimbo Red Drawn Sword. 480 and uh, LF. The LF is 3D printed, so it's not like a rubber, but it's like a soft plastic. But yeah, more friction. Bigger attack power, but And he gets a pretty good start up on the X-Ridge. Not as like crazy as a normal bit, but still pretty good. It's still up there. Uh -oh. Going up balance. And yo, Dran Sword takes it. Alright. Uh -oh. And yo, that counter with the extreme finish. That was insane. We won. Ooh, and oh, that KO. All right. That one goes to Whale Wave. Now we got the Rare Bay Hell Scythe. Rare Bay Get Battle Prize Hell Scythe. Uh, 460T. After I adjust things a little bit. All right, there we go. And oh, okay. I gotta count it. No. That one I am. Not counting. Hey, you get back here. All right. Five, five. Ooh, got a two to two. Talk about intent. And oh, damn, yeah, that hit. And oh my god. All right, Hellside gets it. Managed to throw it off balance. Hey, it works. Whatever works. All right, Dram Sword 380B. And oh man, the burst though right there. Yeah, Dram Sword was not playing right now. It wasn't playing right there, and it's not playing right now. Alright, next up, Leon Claw. Uh, 380 high needle. Five bladed attack battle, I guess. Well, five bladed balance, if you will. These are both five bladed balance. But it ooh, ooh, the hit! This is why I love the balance and such. I mean, Leon Claw's balance with the five blades, but Whaleway's balance with the five blades, having that heavy weight and the attack. That's why it's got to be careful coupled with GB. Uh-oh. Uh Railway really took one around. At least the inner ridge. And oh, man, getting that KO. All right, so that's three. Three to two. Damn, this one, Jesus, why you gotta be so damn disrespectful, holy shit, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> Viper Tail, 570 dot, big time defense, let me tell to send it out, well, it's prone in one spot, so, you know, if you can utilize that defense, it's gonna be tough to send it out, but it could backfire on it, and make it a sitting duck being in one spot, ooh, Momentum, man. Big hits. And oh, man, that hit. All right, well, one. Damn, it like gashed the three, 380 on it. All right, well, 
fish. Is Viper Tail gonna take it out? And, oh my god, that hits. And no, Railway was not playing with that one. The bird. Yeah, Viper Tail got that one, I think. All right, Unicorn Sting is up next. Uh, 370 dot. Wow. You know, the Viper Tail. That's a battle. The hit, man. Unicorn Sting. Not playing. It is a strong combo. But it got KO, dude. All right, Whale Wave. To utilize the heavy attack and start up from a GP that'll help it out big time if it can make contact with it. Got to use heavy weight to its advantage. Because it's showing here just because it has more weight doesn't mean it has like the stamina advantage. That balance. Getting the K. Oh, all right. I think that's what three, two. All right. Stop. And stop. Oh! And it, mm, no. They circled around, and you aren't ready. Let's try this again. Stop. And oh. Yup, that was an explosive hit. That's what it needs to do, man. Get those major hits. Alright, Night Shield 380 Needle Blue version. Yeah, that was a hit, and I gotta give it to it after that, man. That extreme finish. Okay. Here we go. And that was the result of the hits and the recoil. So, 3 to 2. Railway still got up. Put in some work. And oh, I gotta give it to Night Shield because um, stream finish over a KO. So yeah, Night Shield getting the win. Uh, Wizard Arrow, 480 needle. He's up now. The orange version. I know they made so many Wizard Arrows, man. It's insane. Cut. That one goes to Wizard Arrow. One out. Oh man, it shut down that startup. Damn. All right. Well, it's three. We always gotta fight that. And oh man. All right. Well. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna count it. That's 3 0. And okay, now that time I got it. Who takes it? Well, now Wyvern Gale, uh, 260 S is up. Alright, that's one. Nah, man, I ain't counting that shit. Alright, stop. Ooh, that's a hit right there. Yo, whale wave. Driving it and getting the burst. Alright, that's three. Stop.
time hits. Kind of take it. Way away of getting thrown off balance here. Not looking too good for it right now. Ooh, Wyvern Gale. Losing its balance this time. Maybe that 260 throwing it off balance. All right, gets the win. Next up, Shark Hedge. Uh, 380F. Talk about raw attack. And, oh, dude. Yeah, the recoil of Whale Wave, it shows right there. Not just any bait can take the hit from Shark Edge like that. But Shark Edge takes it with the stamina overall. It's brutal hit. Paid off. And that's an extreme finish right there for Whale Wave. What a massive hit. And, oh! It's a double burst. Alright, so 3-1 three, three, still. Uh-oh. Whale wave dies. And oh, it got bursted. Jeez. Burst to shark edge. Massive attack. Alright. Oh, wizard rod. 160 rush. You know, it's gonna be a big time attack. Damn, burst in one hit. Gotta have the right parts to take out the rod, the wizard rod. Big time. Coming down to the stamina. And it gets the KO. Oh, it's just such a strong combo, man. Insane. Alright. Well, Wizard Rod with that dub. Next up, Night Lance. Uh, 460 GB. Yeah. Battle the Gear Balls with this one. He's got the balls to win this. Kick it in the gear. Massive hits, man. And ooh, I think whale wave taking it by a little bit. And that one goes to Night Lance, 1 1. Now we're going to see. Oh man, the hits and the KO by Whale Wave. Heavy attack. 3 1. Yup, that goes to Whale Wave. Getting the dub with that one. All right, Sphinx Cowl's up now. Uh, 480 HT. And oh, that's a KO. All right, Sphinx Cowl starting off strong. Momentum. Nah, we always said, uh uh, hell nah. Nah, I was Vince Countless said, hell nah. Hell nah, no, you. Reverse Uno card. Free up. Uh oh. Vince Countless does hate it. Yo, look at the hits, the overcuts. Massive damage. And the whale wave. Does hang on and wins it with the stamina. 3 1. Oh, big hit. Well, when he's not playing, man. And alright, gets that one. 3 2. And oh, almost going out. Did a whale wave. And throwing out balance though, and Sphinx Cowl does take it. Getting that dub right there. Alright, 
The show's heavier doesn't necessarily mean better. Shark Edge is up next. Ooh, 480 needle. This is what I thought. Like Wyvern Gale was very, very similar yellow. I mean, I guess the color scheme quite a bit. And not as a self KO. Really? You just did the same shit? No. No contact at all. Now there was contact with that one. That was an extreme. Well, not an extreme finish. That was a KO. Dash off. Too well. Climactic until that. I had a feeling it was gonna be some crazy hit. Three to two. Railway needs to try to get the start up. Almost got a little bit of an X dash right there. It's gotta do something though. Shark Edge wins again. It's over. I'm sweating like crazy. Wait for the old Kirkpatrick. And there it is. All right, and damn, that's a massive hit. Sheesh. All right, three to three. And oh, getting the burst, yeah, shark edge. All right, we got a wizard ride up in here, 360T. We have another recolor It's insane, there's a bunch of them. Wizard Rod is the baby that made the most of the colors for him. Yeah, he got the first damn. And the camera went out of focus, and my voice just cracked. Right, 2 0. Damn. Holy shit. Oh, damn. That uppercut, though. Uh oh. Wizard Arrow. I don't know if I said Wizard Rod on accident. I meant to say Wizard Arrow, but. Yeah. But it hits underneath. If it would have bursted it after that, that would have been freaking hilarious, honestly. All right. And ooh, the hits. Uh oh. Just on my balance. All right, and that is a uh, two. the ridge all right well with that gotta give it to wizard arrow all the hits caused the burst what can i say um yeah knight shield 480 ht red version and there's the burst. like i said with a lot of the heavier bays that make them prone by like making them vulnerable on the on the bottom side honestly i think that's the case even with wizard rod the right hit with it. it's just so round that it can a lot of hits. Holy shit. That hit right there. Whale Wave's pissed. He needs to get that fire, man. Three to two. He needs that momentum. Uh-oh. Gonna take it. And it does. Alright. Getting that dub right there. Now? Ooh, the gold beyond claw. 560p. The rare bag. One of the rare bags, you know. The rare bag, your battle prize version. Ooh, the hits. Yon Claw still in there. Big time hit, and this man just got freaking flapjack. He got waffled. Pinch. Alright. And that, yeah. KO City. So, 3 0. And oh, that's an extreme finish right there. It just made it 3 3. Tied up. Just like that. Oh, I'm getting that KO. Yep, it's a rare bay for a reason. And it just showed right there. That was intense. All right, next up Sphinx Cowl. Uh, 180 GF. 
raw attack with this one. Well, I'd say more I'm setting a balance, but nah. Good attack. Defense and attack. And oh, okay. I guess I gotta give it to uh Rio. Freaking insanity, man. Oh, getting that burst of whale wave. All right. Whew. Next up, we got Hell Scythe. Uh, 380B. The combo that has were actually good too. That's a solid one. It's strong in stockwise, man. And damn, it showed with that attack right there. Getting the KO on a whale wave. All right. Too well. Bop. Hit. That wave getting thrown off balance. Gonna fight back here. He's trying to, trying to throw it off balance, but not quite able to. 3 0. Ooh, that hit. Whale wave hanging in there. Can't fight back. Or is Hell Scythe gonna win this overall? Ooh. Yo, maintaining its balance like a beast. It just jumped, but trying to hang on. And it couldn't quite. 3 1. Bop. And nope. Not counting that one. Come on. Bop. There we go. And alright, now I have to KO Hellside getting that dub right there. Getting the win. Alright, next up is Viper Tail uh, 560F. Way away from being major trouble. But nah, I didn't allow it to. That's what it's gotta do. Stop it. Dead in this trash before it gets that start up. Alright, got it both times. Way away from not playing. Heavy, heavy hits. <laughs> Alright, next up is Shark Edge. Uh, 160 Q. It's a glass cannon, but it hits like a truck. Right, and, oh, dude, that hit. Way away getting thrown off balance, though. If Shark Edge wins this with the stamina, that'll be wild, because Q definitely is a bit with the worst stamina. Nope. Alright. Way away. And oh, all right. I think Whale Wave got it by a little bit because Shark Edge stopped so suddenly. Too well. There we go. That was a sign up in these. But, oh, dude. Wow. Deflected it. All right. Whale Wave with the win with that one. All right. Next up, we got Sphinx Cowl. Uh, five. Hiccup. <laughs> five sixty off. White color schemes and nope, not. not they love going with this color scheme, like you know, the black, white, and the size the day, and the random booster selects. But Sphinx Cow will take them that one. And where away fight back. Oh my god. Sphinx Cow is no pushover, man. It's not easy to send it like flying around big time. And ooh, all right. on the underside and nope all right uh three one Swings towel with a major lead right now gonna maintain it whale waves doing pretty well i love the balance they have with it they're showing it's not op that's the main thing is like yeah 
it's always a scary thing when, like, you know, heavier bay coming out, which was the case of Whale Wave. Everybody's seen how heavy it is, but it's mainly focused on the side of attack. And it's got its balance. It shows. And that's the main thing. It's maintaining the balance. Don't want to see a bunch of stuff like before get out to leave. So seeing this is honestly a good thing. And oh, Sphinx Cowl did take it with the stamina, giving it to it. Damn. All right. Next up, we got a uh, drawn dagger for 70 and P. Yo, whale wave. And some nice blows in here. Get it sent back and takes it with the stamina with that. Wow. Extreme finish right there by John Dagger. And no, I'm not counting that one. Still three. One. Okay. Ooh, that hit, yo. A, a chunk of plastic just got taken out of the stadium. I don't know where, but somewhere in the stadium it happened. That was insane. A freaking blow, dude. All right, three to two. Railways fighting. Oh, so was John Dagger with that speed and that startup. That was intense in that dub. All right, last but not least, we got the Giants John Dagger, uh, two eighty and GP. Bop. Bop. Yep, hour long battle, but nope. No, no, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, now that one I'm counting. That hit right there. And John Dagger take it again. And took it on by itself and went out. No. Still too well. Those are some big time hits. And oh, it got it again. All right, yep. The Giants drawn dagger. Super unpredictable, man. It works really well with P. It shows. Point is a bit is really, really strong and it's fun. Like, it, it puts in that work, man. It showed right there. All right, man. So overall, Whale Wave did pretty decently. So I got the win against 18 bays, but it did go down to 26 bays. So 18 wins, 26 losses, more losses than wins. But this bay still is really strong. The combo for it in general with this, uh, you know, GB usually being one that like if you're not careful to set up with GB, um, it can burst on the rail. You know, just how like the gear ball bit is. We've seen that even with Wyvern Gale when it was introduced. But, uh, you know, that's just a big time balance with the game. It's a strong bay. It shows the main thing for it, I think, is if it gets a start up on the gear ridge, like it gets hit and uses that momentum of the GB to get a counter attack in. That's where it excels big time because Whale Wave having a major amount of attack. This is a good thing that we're seeing this. Uh, you know, people are going to sit and think, oh, man, this bay is terrible or like Whale Wave as a layer is bad. No, not not even in the. Slightest. That's why I love about Beyblade Axe is the balance with it. It shows that, like, yes, you might have bays that are heavier, but they're not necessarily seen as, like, OP. Because they take longer to start up because of all the weight and such with them. You have some bays and such, like, you know, like your Shark Edge and such that might be lighter, but you gotta think about it. If the bay's lighter, you get a hard launch with it, that means it's gonna circle around and get more momentum in this stadium. More. Like, on the ridge which is honestly a good thing. Love seeing that balance and stuff with it. And it shows it's not OP. If we start seeing like one big and the win against like all of them, then we'd have something to worry about. But it shows whale wave strong, but it's not invincible. The way that it's designed, like I said, makes it prone to getting bursted on the underside because of like those whale uppercut points with it. Uh, you know, like the jagged wavy uppercut points, but it makes it prone on the bottom. That's how they made it uh, balance with this thing so that it has a gap with it so it can be bursted even having that heavy weight and it seems like they're doing that with like the heavier bays i mean you see it a bit with phoenix wing but especially i'd say in the case of cobalt drake as well as whale wave 
being more on the side for sure of being heavy, but like just the, the balance with it, you know, with the right parts and everything, you know, it's all about the parts and such that you use for the bays, but it shows that there's no ultimate, like strongest insane bay. It's not a bad thing. We're seeing losses with it um, and facing off against so many different diverse kind of bays, you know, it got a lot of wins even with the, the losses. And even when it went down, they put up good fights against the bays in defeat. So it shows it's strong, but not OP. I love seeing the balance and such with it for sure, man. But anyways, that's going to do it for this epic survival battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely be sure to slice that like button down below. It's much appreciated. You know, a lot of effort goes in. I mean, you got like what? Basically 40 with this 44 different battles in one video. And it being a longer battle and such with it. Uh, you know, the roster for Baywood X being so huge on the TT side. These battles are becoming wild, and it's at the point where, like, I want to do team battles. Just got to get the time in order to do so and set it up the right way. I get inspired with each gen to do so. You saw the burst, how I did it, and it's going to be different with Beyblade, actually. You know, it's not going to be the same exact thing, but stay tuned. Um, and I've also got a couple more bays that have to step up and battle with this crazy roster of recolors. It's, it's insane, man. But anyways, the plus side, well, the exciting thing is one of them is... Uh, a Hasbro Bay, but you'll see. Stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, definitely be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and cool. Shoot, I'm up out of here. This was damn intense.